number one prophecy that God has been putting in my heart to say to the people, I see in the realm of the spirit, in the, in the, the God begin to take me spiritually and I begin to peep in the realm of the spirit. God took me straight away to the health sector. To the health sector. And I begin to ask questions. What am I doing in the health sector? God said, I'm taking you to the health sector worldwide because the operation and the manifestation of the power of the Holy Ghost is not only within one place alone. It cut across everywhere in the world. And I see myself in the health sector. And I begin to ask, what am I doing here? I see a group of scientists working. And I ask them, what are you doing? They say they are working something out. I said, what is it? They say, they want to invent what is called kidney artificial kidney artificial heart these two become the first thing that i see in the realm of the spirit and i begin to ask them how would this artificial kidney and artificial heart work and they said to me they said major prophet of god that what we are doing is to stop the harvesting of human organs because there are a lot of harvesting of human organs going on. Because in the realm of the spirit, when I look at the African nations, I see where people are coming from the white countries. Especially when I see the people that are speaking nothing, nothing, nothing in their mouth. From the other side, they begin to come from the Asian countries to Africa. And I begin to look at them. What are they doing here? God said to me, these people are here to harvest people's kidney and people's heart. And then we got to ask myself, I said, why are they, are they, they said it now that this thing going on is making a lot of research in the realm of the spirit. I don't know why, but as a prophet of God, whatever the Lord took me is what I will say. I don't like coming to prophesy and then I begin to cut words, except God said, don't say it and I will not say it. And I look at it again, I see where they are now preparing what is called artificial heart and artificial kidney. I don't know whether this is possible or not possible. But in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing a medical record that will now broke the internet that is coming very soon to happen in the whole wide world. And people will hear the news and they say, oh, they have invented artificial heart and artificial kidney. This is what has written in the realm of the spirit. And I watch into this year, I begin to see this and this announcement coming in the nearest future. And the Lord said, let the glory and honor be to God. But I begin to ask about the spiritual implications. Because when I say the spiritual implications, the Lord said, listen, the world is exploring all its knowledge. The world is exploring all its wisdom because the coming of the Son of Man will be like a thief in the night. Then I begin to look at it and say, well, if they are going to invent what is called a kidney or, 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 or what is called a, a heart, that one is for them. But all I know is that no man will take the place of God. If it is for good, glory be to God. If it is true, rival with God, whichever one it is, let God be praised and be praised alone in the name of Jesus Christ. So I enter again in the realm of the spirit. The Lord took me straight away. Because I begin to look at these things that I'm seeing unveiling in the realm of the spirit. I begin to move again in the realm of the spirit. And then I see spiritually where there was this conflict. And what is this conflict? I see the conflict between the evil and the good. Especially in the country called Nigeria. The country of Nigeria. I begin to look at what is called the evil and good. I said, what is the conflict between the evil and good? God said, it is time that God is about to elevate good in terms that the, the, the good, or what, how do I put it? He said, you want to elevate what is called the right thing to be in place. That, that is a fight in the realm of the spirit between darkness and the light. And I begin to ask, what is this light all about? And God said, the light is the truth. The truth is the perfect thing and the perfect will of God and the thing that is made for the people. Because the people in here are the people that God wants to use and evangelize the world. But darkness has not allowed the light to shine. And so the light and the darkness are in conflict. And I see the conflict and God say, after the rain and shine, the good will reign. The right thing must come in place. Whether the devil like it or not, or whatever that wants to happen, whether God whether this world is ready or the Nigeria is ready, the will of God must be done. The poor masses, 
the innocent citizen, the people that are just concerned about to wake up in the morning, go to their normal businesses and come back and do what they need to do. God said because of them, God is working. And at the end of it all, the will of God must prevail. Mm -hmm.